Hi everybody, Keith here. I purchased this little brownie box camera from an antique store uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, last thing I needed was uh, yet another brownie box camera. Um, but uh, a couple of things about this one. Number one, it still had the amber uh, window in the back uh, undamaged, which uh, seems to be a little rare for that. Uh, most of them are damaged. But, uh, and I didn't necessarily care about that uh, so much, but the one thing that really uh, stood out to me was that it still had this roll of film in it. Um, this is Kodak Verichrome Pan. It's a black and white film. Uh, this film, uh, they began manufacture of this in 1959. And I noticed that on the label, um, there's a label here where you can write your uh, name, address, city, there's no place to write zip. They didn't specifically call out a place for zip, which I thought was interesting. Uh, zip codes uh, were started in this country in 1963. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that the, the images on this film are somewhere from uh, the late 50s to the early 60s, but uh, not necessarily so. We'll just, uh, we'll find out. But I, I couldn't pass up that deal. I uh, really wanted to see what was on the film. I uh, couldn't necessarily care about the camera per se. Um, I decided I'm going to use uh, Kodak uh, AC-110 uh, for this. I'm going to be using what's called uh, uh, Solution B, which is uh, 31 parts water and one part uh, of the uh, developer. And rather than use the Jobo unit, uh, which is going to agitate constantly, I've decided I'm, uh, I believe I'm just going to put on the reel and uh, set it in the tank and, and develop it as a stand, what's called stand development, uh, where it just sits still for a while and every now and then you, you pick it up and, and invert it or, or otherwise agitate it. Um, so I think I'm going to use that technique and we'll see if we get anything. All right, guys, I'm back. We've developed the film. Uh, I ran, uh, as I mentioned, the... Um, HC110 uh, Kodak product. You see it uh, actually turned had it a lot more pink than I thought it would uh, for just one single roll of film. Uh, if you recall, that was uh, uh, almost clear, very very pale yellow uh, when we started. I used uh, Ilfa Stop and uh, Ilford Rapid Fixer. Uh, I did do the stops and the fixers uh, on the Jobu unit uh, with constant agitation, uh, but I did use stand developing uh, for the. Uh, for the HC110. So here comes the real fun part. Um, this is something that the, the digital shooters don't get to experience. Um, when we pull the film out, that's when we know we have something. Um, and so sometimes it's exciting, sometimes it's heartbreak. And this is, uh, I've not done this prior. This is, you're literally seeing it at the same time I'm seeing it. So we may have, we may have garbage or we may have something interesting. So let's see. Let's see what we have. It looks really, really dark, so it may not may not be scannable. Oh no, I've got images. I don't know if you can see them, but there are definitely images here. And it will take a bit of work with the scanner to discern them, but they are definitely there. And I can see clearly one two, three, four, five, looks like about six images that I should be able to scan. Uh, they don't look like much to you, but I can, I can definitely discern a little bit uh, from them. Uh, I think I see some people in a few of these. Yeah, definitely a few folks here. So I'm going to rinse this a little bit more and uh, hang it to dry uh, overnight and we'll scan it tomorrow and see what we get.